Hey everybody, this is Franco, and this video is going to be about free plans and solid models for the 7-inch mini lathe CNC conversion. If you've been watching my channel, you've seen several other videos about this. I've actually been selling these kits uh, for a while. I've sold quite a few of them, and thank you to all of you that bought one from me. But I'm not going to be selling them anymore because it just takes too much of my free time to keep up with all of that. So I won't be doing that as a business anymore. But I still get a lot of questions and interest on the kits. And I decided that now would be a good time to put the plans and the models out there for free. So anybody who is interested in this can have access to it and do their own conversion if they'd like. The design is all done in Fusion 360. The model's pretty good. It's not 100% perfect, but it's, it's pretty accurate. And what you're going to find in the description is a link to something that looks like this. If you follow the hyperlink in the description, it'll, it'll take you to this 3D preview that you can view in a web browser, and it's explodable. So if you click on this icon right here and slide the bar, you can explode the model, and you can zoom in, and you can look at each individual thing and see how it all fits together. And I think that will be really helpful if you, if you decide you want to work through this and take this on as a project. So that'll be in the description of this video. The other thing that will be in the description is a hyperlink to a Dropbox location that has all of the solid models and drawings located in it. So if you follow that, you'll be able to view the drawings, which are pretty, pretty good. And you'll also be able to get the associated solid model. Most of the drawings, if I can click on example, most of the drawings have the raw material specified in them. Like, like this part is made out of a piece of tubing that I purchased from McMaster Car. And it, it's specified here in the notes. The other pieces that are just made out of bar stock or billet stock, um, I actually give this the size of the raw material that I, I use. And if I can find an example, I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's not a good example. There we go. So this was made out of three and a half by three quarter. So that will make it a little bit easier for you to uh, find your raw material. That'll save you some time. Other questions that I get often are about the ball screws. So there are drawings for the ball screws, and they're spelled out pretty quickly. They're spelled out fairly clearly. The ball screws I purchased from this gentleman right here. This is his email address, and I'll put this in the description of the video also. This is uh, eBay seller, Linear Motion 2008. He's a pretty big seller of ball screws on eBay. You probably have seen his listings if you've been searching for those types of things. I purchase directly from him. I usually just send him an email, attach the drawing, tell him what I want, how many. He sends me a quote. I tell him it's cool. And then he sends me a PayPal invoice. I have never had any troubles with him. He usually ships the items, you know, within a week or two. And I've purchased a lot of ball screws from him. Uh, on the few occasions where I have had a problem, he has sent me replacements and hasn't really given me any issues about it. So I found him to be a pretty uh, good and honest uh, person to do business with. All right. The other thing that I get questions about all the time are the ball screw covers. Where to buy those? Those come from eBay from a seller called 22 New Century. And this is what you want to search for, this item right here. 3.8 centimeter by 100 centimeter round flexible tube machine tool ball screw cover black. Search for those, and that's what you can use for your kit. You only need one. One of them is long enough you can cut it in half, cover your whole ball screw. All right. Well, I don't think there's too much else to say about the kit, but I do have to pop the disclaimer up here. So please look at this. Um, I can't accept any liability for anything that you build or anything that you work on. 
Um, you know, CNC is inherently dangerous. Machining is inherently dangerous. So you have to take responsibility for your own safety. And you need to make sure that everyone that comes around, the things that you build are doing so in a safe way. So thanks for watching the disclaimer. And thanks for watching this video. So I hope you have fun with this and find it helpful. And uh, we'll catch you later.